Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in knowing how to increase your self-esteem and confidence as a woman after a man you love has hurt you, stick around, because that's what I'll be revealing in my Ask Bern episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to come. Today is another edition of Ask Bern, where any of you get to ask me a question by submitting a comment on any of my videos and I give you an answer on sex, intimacy, love, passion, understanding men. And today I'm very excited because we're going to be talking about how to increase your self esteem and confidence as a woman. So today's question comes from a very courageous woman called Lei Li. And here's what she's asking. She's saying, I'm having a hard time forgiving myself for coming off as a low value woman. Any advice on how to overcome past mistakes and the shame, mistreatment, and rejection that comes with knowing the man you loved lost respect and interest in you? I know I'm high value. I just beat myself up for mistakes and for the breakup and for allowing such abuse and mistreatment as his defense and revenge to me before leaving me took place. How do I regain self esteem, self love, and feelings of worthiness after such? disrespect, injustice, and feeling of betrayal. Thank you. Here's the thing. It's a very, very powerful question because uh, so many women are in a situation like yours where you experience deep love with someone, things were going great, something happened where he lost interest, and all of a sudden you place so much value in the relationship, you start feeling a low level of worth, and when you want to go out into the world, you feel less confidence, and not only that, the worst part about this whole thing is you're beating yourself up, you're feeling shame for doing this. Uh, so here, I'm going to give you a four-step answer on how you can break free today, start breaking free starting today if you really want to create more of the feelings of connection, confidence, and passion in your own life. The first thing I'll tell you right, right off the bat is that what you're searching for is who you're searching through. And here's what I mean by that. What you're searching for is what you're searching through means that this huge thing that most people find mystifying, how to create more confidence, is not about something you get to gain on the outside world. It's not about something that is not inside of you. It's who you are at your core, but you're not tapping into it right now. So if I were to give you one piece of advice that would make the mystify this process and make, this, make you get this far sooner than most people will ever get it is, you're not looking for something on the outside as much as you are right now connecting to something that's already within you. And by letting go of stuff that's not serving you, reconnecting to that part of you that's always been there. And how do you do this? You do it by going 10% further than you usually do on any area of your life, uh, by moving differently, by taking more actions, by taking more risks, by connecting to your passions. When you start making an improvement in any area of your life, you start regaining confidence in who you are because every part of you is connected to every other part. So that was, that's step number one. What you're searching for is inside of you right now. Number two, step into compassion. And here's what I mean by that. Let's say that you have, a, I don't know, six month old baby or a one year old baby and he's starting to crawl and all of a sudden he wants to stand up and he wants to, to start walking. How absurd would it be for you to slap him in the head if he falls down and he's walking? I mean, It'd be, you would never do that, right? But here you are, there's parts of you that are not fully developed, there's parts of you that need deep compassion and love, and you're beating yourself up time and time again, just like you'd be beating up that one-year-old child for not doing the things that he doesn't even know how to do. So forgive yourself for not being perfect. Nobody's born with the answers to all these questions. That's why it's part of being alive. Part of being alive is discovering kind of like what you're here to do and how to make it better. So being compassionate with yourself is going to be one of the biggest keys you can tap into right now if you really want to start getting this. Now, I'll say something else. Step number three is re recognize the reason, the core of why you're beating yourself up. And for most women who are beating themselves up, is because uh, you feel like this type of penance, like if you beat yourself up, then you'll get yourself to take action. Or maybe you'll, uh, if you beat yourself up, then you'll learn the lesson and you won't make the same mistake again. Or you feel like if you beat yourself up, that you are keeping yourself safe. Because as long as you keep yourself beating yourself up, you'll always be hurt. You'll always have an open wound. So you'll never have that willingness to go out there and make stuff happen. So if you recognize that there's a reason, there's a secondary gain in you keeping yourself safe, by beating yourself up, that will also help you to free yourself and let it go. And the last thing I'll tell you is replace punishment with love. And here's what my challenge is for you today, Lee. My punishment, my punishment, my challenge, <laughs> look at me, my challenge for you is to replace this punishment that you've been experiencing with an act of love. So anytime that you go into this beating yourself up thinking, oh my God, why doesn't he love me? I want you to do something for yourself that makes you feel amazing, whether it's Doing smiling could be something simple if you're in a place where you can't do something else. Dancing, 
uh, giving yourself a massage, uh, taking a walk, calling a friend, doing something that fills your life with love again so that you can start connecting to higher vibration. Connecting to the man of your dreams and forgiving yourself has a lot to do with raising your vibration. Confidence has a lot to do with raising your vibration. You cannot raise your vibration if you bring yourself up. So replace punishment with an act of love every time during the day when you start beating yourself up. Think of something you're gonna to do to compensate for that for yourself, something good, something kind, something amazing. And that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, if you think that what I'm saying here makes some sense, I invite you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. And number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, most important of all, I want you to, on the description of this video, there's gonna be a link that allows you to go through a webinar that I put together that shows you how to connect to your soulmate. It's a blueprint on how to connect to your soulmate in 90 days or less. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a fully conscious life. If you have any questions for me, submit a comment below this video or any of my videos, and I'll either answer them personally right now, or I may choose you to create one of my videos next week. Okay, thank you so much. Mwah.